we're back in here and I'm going to take it offline and now these buttons by the way watch this one here does the tens see how it goes up by ten each time I choose one of these it literally loads the corresponding virtual floppy into the memory in here but it doesn't necessarily because this is offline it's not going to present it to the synthesizer yet okay now we're back to choosing zero zero and now we're going to put it online with the synthesizer and you see the flashing on the drive that indicates that it's actually been read properly so if I come back over here and enter into disk mode and then choose load there's no sounds but there are songs and once again 21 songs with tri groove being the highest one say that because that's disk number one so then let's go back over here we'll leave the disk mode no longer in disk mode we'll take the disk it always throws it off, doesn't it? Come on, come on, come on now. That's a good machine. Take the disc offline, press this button to choose floppy one, put the disc back online, see how it reads? Good. Go back over here, choose to enter the disc mode, disc mode load. I'm going to hit enter over here. And here are the songs. And the songs that we are loading are quite different than the ones that were there. Trip Hop RSPL being the highest one, and the dance kit sound. Because remember, disc number two is the dance kit. Okay, well, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's really nice. But wait! it gets better. Let me take this out of disk mode. I'm going to take this offline. Okay, So it's offline now. It's the equivalent of having pulled out the floppy disk, only I just pulled out the USB drive. You want to know why? I'm going to do something else and this is the surprise bonus extra piece of information. You know why I got these two pieces of Velcro here? So that I can do this. This is a USB mass storage card reader. And uh, wouldn't you know it, but all the tricks we just did with that, stri that fla flash drive can also be applied to this card reader and its media. <laughs> I know, it's really cool. So, for example, I'm going to reach in my pocket here. And uh, what I have here is an old school 256 megabyte SanDisk SD card. Now, 256 megabytes is a joke by today's standards. I actually bought this second hand for five dollars from somebody who was uh, somewhat at a loss as to what to do with it. Well, it just so happens that 256 megabytes can be formatted to be a hundred virtual floppies very nicely. And uh, the program I just showed you does a fine job doing that. Okay, so now I've already set this up with some sounds and some sequences and some sound data. So I'm just going to put this online and watch what happens. Okay, so now that's online. All right. Uh, and I can take this offline and I can choose virtual floppy number one, virtual floppy number two. You see the way that that uh, it's blinking each time? Here, let me. I'm sorry. There, that's better. So now you can see I'm literally selecting. Oh, I scrolled past. This is one of the bummers about this thing is that there's no down button. But, uh, well, live with it, right? Look what we're doing already. It's pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to choose that. There's a little bit of read write. Now, if I come back over here to the disk mode, disk, load, enter, and in my virtual floppy zero, there are in fact no songs, no tracks, but there is sound.00svd stored. 